It's amazing nobody was seriously injured or killed in this school bus crash in Ohio, and the fact the bus driver was the only one wearing a seatbelt now has America wondering if it's time for all students to be buckled into a lap and shoulder belt. The NTSB recommends all new buses have the belts, yet at this point only eight states require them. New Jersey's one of them, PA and Delaware, they're not. A very unscientific Twitter poll I did on this seems to indicate the vast majority of people agree school bus seatbelts are a good idea. Those big squishy school bus seats we're all used to, they're actually pretty effective in acting like an egg carton for your kids. They keep them safe in collisions primarily involving the back of the bus or the front of the bus. Those are the most common types of school bus crashes, I'm told. They're not as effective, though, in crashes involving the sides of the bus and certainly not in rollovers. There was a lot of resistance because the lap belts left a lot to be desired. Tyler Bryan heads Delaware School Bus Transportation Program, a former driver himself. He was never in favor of lap belts, but he says a retractable lap and shoulder belt combo is a good idea whose time has come. In Delaware, Tyler says it's not unlikely the Delaware legislature will eventually move toward buying buses with seat belts to replace buses at the end of their lifespan. Retrofitting current buses is probably too expensive an option. He says they'd also have to make a new law requiring all kids to use the belts on the buses. Oh, and a side benefit of seat belts on buses. And some of the states who have been able to implement seat belts have talked about how much it has improved um, bus behavior in regards to the kids are actually in their seats and sitting correctly. In Dover, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.